Hello everybody and thanks for stopping by, this is KCR Mark Now I'm sorry to start the video off like this but I need to apologise to the easily offended because I've got a bit of a controversial point here and that is I don't really like any modern Supras And who is a blasphemer? You are to be stoned to death Yeah I know I know it's not a popular opinion but I've always preferred the Mark III Supra we see here I just think it's a more uh, aggressive looking car and uh, yeah, it's been in the game for quite a while. It's never been amazing, to be quite honest. It was okay to drive, but uh, in the new update 1.43, so you've been treated to a new engine swap with this car. Uh, you can now fit the 2JZ or 2JZ, if you prefer, from the Mark III Super, and it just absolutely transforms this car. So uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a 700pp tune, which we're going to take around the Mon, and then we're going to do an unlimited tune, so stay tuned. So the swap itself is quite reasonable, just 210,000 credits. Also make sure you've got the wide body installed for this uh, tune as well. Uh, Wheel-wise, obviously your own uh, choice. Make sure you've got a wide offset and wide rims. So for custom parts, we're going to be using a Type A front splitter, Type A side skirts. We're going to be using Type B rear diffuser and then a custom wing set, whichever size you want, uh, doesn't affect the tune at all. Also, which slightly affects the PP, we're gonna use a roll cage C as well. So with those installed, we wanna get on the tune itself. So for the 700 PP, we're gonna be using racing hard tires. You want the fully customized suspension and fully customized differential. Also fully customized transmission, just copy all the settings I've got here. These are actually standard gear ratios, I found them to be really good. Uh, you want custom ECU. Now at this point, if you just want to do the 700pp tune, you don't need necessarily to buy all these engine tuning parts that I did. Uh, you can just get away with just putting a bigger turbo on and uh, getting around about 500 brake horsepower. The, the power isn't really that important with this car it's more about suspension than diff tuning just make sure you've got all three sta stages of weight reduction as well because it is quite heavy as, as standard so uh, with that all done we can head to the track we're going to go to Le Mans Money Grind the World Touring Car 700 so uh, let's get see how we get on just uh, make sure you've got racing intermediates by the way so heading out onto track and the first thing to do is to set the fuel map to four you can leave that there for the rest of the race don't need to worry about that again that will ensure that you get to lap three which on this race is usually when the rain comes in so uh, you have to pit anyway so with this tune the car itself is really really nice to drive it's super stable really nicely composed over the uh, over the curbs as well you can crash over the curbs no problem at all uh, it'll do nearly 200 miles an hour down the main straight it's just all around really really good car the brakes are especially good for a road car and uh, I think you'll really enjoy this, it's really, really nice to drive. So I think you'll have fun with this car, like I say, it's incredibly nice to drive. Uh, on this particular run out, some really strange weather patterns that I've never seen before in this race, hence the uh, abysmal lap times I got caught out in the uh, torrential rain on slicks at one point, but uh, still managed to win uh, fairly easy and with that uh, clean race bonus you bag yourself 825,000 credits as you can see so that tune worked really well I was, I was happy with that setup um, so next we're going to go on to the unlimited tune where just anything goes it's just going to be absolutely full bore to see what this car can actually do with fully upgraded everything uh, as, as before the uh, suspension and diff is exactly the same we've just uh, upped the power to its max as you can see it's 883 brake horsepower so I dare say this is going to be a bit of a weapon, so uh, let's see how we get on. So this unlimited tune was just added just as a bit of fun really, I just went to see what the uh, car could do completely unleashed and uh, with the same suspension settings, still nice and stable but obviously that's a huge amount of power to be going through the rear wheels, uh, but uh, it handles it quite well, you've, you've got to be careful with it, it's not the easiest to drive but it's, uh, you can have a lot of fun with this, it's uh, not really good for any money grind, it's, uh, the, the fuel economy is going to be awful but uh, it's a good laugh if you want to use it in uh, open lobbies or unlimited races, it's, uh, it's worth a shot. Um, so uh, thanks for stopping by, hope you enjoyed that, um, I'm particularly pleased with my uh, 700p P, uh, tune, I think you'll have a lot of fun with that, it's a really nice car to drive. So uh, thanks for stopping by, let me know how you get on with the tune and I'll see you again soon, cheers, bye.